in this video i'll do uh, some sort of uh, experiment uh, and uh, how to mitigate the r plus incident energy so this video uh, will be related to r plus mitigation step let's start so uh, here suppose for this particular uh, 6.6 kb or let's say this is 415 volt bus this is lb 415 volt bus and here lb circuit breaker is already modeled let's see this is the release we have used this solid state trip release abb says pr 122 release so etu unit or solid state trip unit lsig release feature is used for this delay and here in upstream this is idmt this is idmt relay abb rdf542 plus let's uh, quickly check this uh, brief case here standard this is maximum maximum short circuit condition dual configuration that means normal configuration two in common one bus uh, two in common and uh, closed and bus coupler is open let's quickly run this r plus and let's see what's the status here yeah so uh, what we can see here for this for this switchboard for this switchboard this is level f uh, incident energy is more than 40 calorie per square centimeter and fct fault clearing time is 0.384 seconds so fct is 384 millisecond and incident energy is high this is for uh, this is exceeding 40 calorie per square centimeter so in this case we need to mitigate this one suppose that pp is not available uh, for this incident energy let's say this is available uh, up to 25 calorie per square centimeter incident energy so we need to mitigate this one because we don't have uh, that pp and it will be dangerous for the operating personnel whenever they are going uh, for the live maintenance so that's why we need to mitigate this one we need to reduce this incident energy and how to do that i will show you uh, so basically this fault should be cleared uh, faster than the existing one so what we can do we can do we can go to the trip release here and here as we can see this ls that means long time and short time is enabled but this instantaneous is not enabled if we enable this instantaneous if we enable this instantaneous let's say this is two two times that means uh, this is 8000 amps 4000 4000 that means 8000 okay 4000 is a plug uh, rating plug that means 8000 amps if we set this instantaneous okay and let's run quickly again the r plus so before that keep in mind this this incident energy was 40 uh, this was exceeding 40 calorie per square centimeter and 384 millisecond is the fault clearing time now we have changed this um, lsi release setting of this incoming circuit breaker incoming power circuit breaker we have enabled this instantaneous setting and let's run this r plus okay so it's now reduced to level c level c and now incident energy is 6.316 calorie per square centimeter because this fct is now reduced drastically so previously it was 384 millisecond and now this is 60 millisecond so in this 60 millisecond the fault is cleared so the fault is cleared in a faster time that's why this incident energy is very less so now it's very much uh, safe 
for the operating personnel uh, here so this is the basic uh, thing here we have to keep in mind so as soon as the fault is cleared in a faster way that means the incident energy will be low and this uh, pp requirement this level will be reduced so this is uh, this is one example i have shown here for uh, lv let's uh, let's see for this for this 6.6 kb board for this 6.6 kb board here okay so if we check this tcc curve uh, here i have already generated so let's see this is that this is the tcc curve this is lv's lv circuit breaker not lv yeah this is 33 kb outgoing transformer uh, transformer feeder relay and this is the transformer secondary side relay okay so now in this situation in this situation let's run it is already there so what we can see this is incident energy is 1.938 for this particular 6.6 .6 kb board this incident energy is very less okay level a one incident energy is uh, 1.938 calorie per square centimeter and if it is 245 second that means yeah uh, 0.245 second that means 245 millisecond the fault is cleared and the incident energy is 1.938 calorie per square centimeter now let's take a uh, sniff here okay now let's go to the graph here suppose for the lv if we further reduce this setting if we further reduce the setting and now if we run this yeah you can see uh, this incident energy is further reduced so previously previously it was previously it was uh, this incident energy was 1.938 and FCT 244 uh, 245 millisecond and now it incident energy is further reduced 0 0.514 calorie per square centimeter and FCT is 65 millisecond only so with the help of this with the help of this uh, setting uh, changes uh, modifications in the relay setting we can mitigate the issues related to arc plus as well okay let's see um, let's deactivate this 50 setting yeah let's disable this 50 only 51 is available but here 50 and 51 both are available and here only 51 is enabled 50 is disabled now let's run this yeah so incident energy is uh, increased uh, because the fct is now 296 millisecond and incident energy is 2.316 calorie per square centimeter so still this is again uh, this is uh, within the acceptable limit here because in this 6.6 kb bus itself the fault uh, fault level is very low i think this is not ideal case uh, as per the uh, actual uh, project or field scenario you will see this fault current is uh, higher uh, maybe uh, 20 kiloamps or 25 or 30 kiloamps this uh, switchboard uh, fault uh, uh, short circuit fault level fault withstand level so in that case this incident energy will be also a higher side so that time we need to check and if there is any issue related to this uh, the pp requirement uh, related to this incident energy then we need to uh, we need to mitigate this with the help of the uh, settings changes required in the relay so in this way we can uh, 
uh, we can modify okay now i want to add here whenever we are talking uh, about the r plus analysis uh, keep in mind that we should check the r plus uh, incident energy uh, in both maximum and minimum configurations maximum or minimum source circuit fault contribution that means if you see here this this study case if you go to this ac standard this is mm, under maximum short circuit current condition why but but we need to check uh, in the minimum short circuit um, uh, case also uh, why it is required why it is required because in case of in case of minimum short circuit uh, level that means when most of the uh, most of the motors most of the loads or most of the motors are not operating during no load or very light load condition in in that time the fault contribution uh, to the to this switchboard that may be very uh, that may be reduced significantly and the problem is that the current since since these are the since these are uh, since these are following the idmt characteristic idmt this is inverse characteristic that means whenever uh, please try to understand what message i want to convey here since this delay since this delay is maintaining the inverse characteristic that means that means whenever fault current is more the time taken by the relay to give the trip command to the circuit breaker is less suppose at this point at this point current is this much current is higher fault current is higher fault current is higher that means it will take it will take it will take less time but suppose at this point at this point fault current is less but it is taking it is taking much more time to clear the fault because this is following this is following the inverse characteristic more fault current means it will trip in a uh, less time and less fault current means it will take the relay will take much time to give the trip command to the circuit breaker and during minimum fault contribution during minimum fault condition that means the fault current is less that means the relay will take much time that means the relay will take much time to clear the fault and hence the fault clearing time is more fault clearing time is more and that means the incident energy may be more so we need to check in some of the cases in some of the cases not for all the cases you will see but you can find in actual scenario in a power system network in some of the cases you may find it's very it's very uh, normal it's not uh, it's not any abnormal condition you may find that during minimum fault condition your pp requirement is that means incident energy is higher than the maximum short circuit condition so if something happens like this don't get confused rather you need to check that one and you need to consider the worst condition between this maximum and minimum so most of the cases it will follow the maximum fault contribution only but some of the cases you may find in the power system network where you can say the uh, incident energy will be higher during minimum short circuit condition so in that case you need to consider that minimum short circuit condition incident energy and corresponding pp requirement so please keep in mind that thing also so that was also one important message i wanted to convey because uh, because i have faced uh, such uh, such a thing but i was confused but okay uh, what to do in that case during normal con uh, during that minimum fault current contribution let's do that so i have created the no load no load means it is uh, the there is no load there is no motor load 
or any other normal load during this condition so it will be the minimum short circuit condition and also in the brief case we need to go to the is this standard short circuit standard and here minimum but in the R plus study we cannot use this minimum actually but we will we'll, uh, use the same C factor uh, 0.9511 so we can use this user defined C factor 0.9511 this is user defined C factor but this is uh, nothing but the minimum okay so now let's run this let's run this R plus once again so it is 2.316 296 millisecond now this is less okay it's fine so incident energy is 2.052 2.052 calorie per square centimeter previously it was 2.3 uh, 2.232 calorie per square centimeter now it is reduced a little bit that's fine and for clearing time is 367 millisecond so you need to check also the um, minimum fault contribution as well uh, along with the maximum maximum uh, pulp contribution so uh, this was the uh, discussion today uh, if you have any doubt already i have uh, made a uh, uh, few videos related to the r plus analysis if you have any doubt regarding any of the any of the videos you can just drop a message i will come back